Morning guys, we're on a new project. It's Wednesday, we got Donuts Coffee and Kevin and Ralph from Tranquility Scapes. We're out here on a 18 by 14 pond. Awesome property, sweet house, bunch of windows. So it's gonna be awesome incorporating the pond right up to the patio. As you guys can see behind here, we got some prep work to do. Just plucking away some of these before we get started. But check out the view overlooking this property. It's gonna be awesome. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. I was the one behind the camera, so let me give you guys a little bit of an in-depth review on what we're gonna be doing today. Let me spin you guys around. I just wanna show you guys my handsome face, but let me spin you guys around and show you what we have to do. So we're gonna come in here and you can see the outline of our pond. It's roughly gonna be like Jack said, 18 by 14 with a, probably a good 10 foot deep stream sitting over in that area with two Biofall 6000s. We're gonna be putting a Skimmer 1000 and a Pondless Waterfall Vault in here to accommodate two pumps that are gonna be powering this thing. There's gonna be jets, possibly a wall, and we're gonna be button this pond all the way up against this foundation of the house so then they can enjoy it through those big bay windows. So first things first is going to be rip out this patio that's inside the pond area and we're going to put it on these pallets and stages so the homeowners can use it to extend their patio back behind us. This right here is going to be our staging area so we're going to come in here we're going to first pull up the pavers and everything in this area get the pallets out of here and then we're going to bring our mats in throw our mats down and then we're going to bring our 304 in here and start digging away. It's so beautiful out. Things moved so smoothly. I started getting really excited, and so I just started digging, and I forgot to actually show you what we're gonna build. So let's, before I get too far, kind of explain what the design's like, and then we'll get into the digging, and you guys can watch the footage of that being done, because it's super exciting. But here we go, here's the design. So we have roughly a 16-foot pond back from the Fuentes brothers over here. We have 15 feet from here to here. It's 23 feet from here all the way to underneath the skid steer over there. We're gonna do a stepping stone bridge right across this area here. So boom, 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 right where Luis just walked across. We're gonna do a unilock wall, composite brick wall, right inside of here, which will allow us to bring that patio right up over the top of this. Our skimmer box and vault are gonna go over in this area. Electric's gotta move over to this space. And we have jets going over there. Waterfalls coming from there. And we'll have two biofalls. So I've got a skimmer box feeding two biofalls and a vault feeding some jets. So that's the design. Again, like always, the design was inspired from the view from inside the house. And later, I'm gonna take you in there and show you how the view from inside this house just screams water feature over in here. I really want that water to come right up close to the foundation over on this side. And then of course, they'll see the waterfalls from inside there and inside here. But I want the water to come up close. So when they're sitting in here on a chair or something, they can see those fish come right up up close to these windows and they're just giant windows leading out to this awesome awesome property all right back to digging So it's the end of day one. Illinois Brick is delivering all our rock and it's nice to have all our rock on site on day one. We have roughly around, I'd probably say seven to eight tons of our moss rock out here. Luis is taking all our stuff to the truck to get all that ready to go so we can get out of here. Rob's doing the same thing. Thank you, Rob. Kevin's filming right now for his channel. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to Tranquility Scapes. Tranquility Scapes. Tranquility Scapes. Thank you. Team Aquascape. Yeah, dual yeah. vlogging right now. Yeah, right there. We Behind have... <laughs> 
We have another eight tons of our 12 to 18s, and then we have another ton and a half of our six to 12 or eight to 12 inch cobbles. So let me spin you guys around and show you what we have gotten done today. So we got everything done that we wanted to get done, minus the fabric and liner, which is no big deal. We ran into some issues. We ran across the sewer clean out that runs from that clean out over there all the way to this one sitting over there. So we were able to get our entire hole excavated. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go down our three feet depth. We are fortunately able to go down two and a half feet deep. So it's not that big of a loss. It's not like we're losing a whole foot. We only lost six inches, which is still a lot. We got our trench dug out for our wall. It's going to be happening tomorrow. We got our skimmer in. And then over here, we have a vault that is going to be going inside the pond. So we're going to come over here and there's going to be a vault sitting in this corner with two small aqua blocks sitting out in front of the skimmer. And that way it allows our rock work to fit nicely and, and disguise the face of the skimmer and our pondless vault. And that way it gives some support to that skimmer because we do not like when there's no dirt in bottom of the skimmer because it could heave out if possible. When we're doing a clean out or something like that, if we just stack rocks or something like that or nothing substantial up in front of that. So it's a little behind the scenes and a little tip we like to do when we're doing those vaults and when we're doing those skimmers. This is looking awesome. I cannot wait until we have rock pretty much up against that house. It's only a good four inches between the backs of those rocks and the face of that house. So this thing is going to look awesome. Really looking forward to it. Right where I'm standing, this part is two feet and then down there is two and a half feet deep. Everywhere you can see it, this entire section is two and a half feet deep. This section over here is going to be more of an aquatic plant section. Just to change up the shape, we didn't want to go two and a half feet deep all the way up to this to that side and it be just all water. We wanted to kind of change the shape up a little bit and have some rock work to change things up, make it a little bit more natural. Tomorrow, when we move the machine out of the way, we're going to carve out our deep stream area and that's where we're going to throw our granite steppers in. I think that's what we're still going to be doing. We're going to throw granite steps right where the machine's tracks are sitting right now and then our biofalls is going to sit at the back of the machine. One waterfall is going to be on the left side and that other uh, biofall is going to be more of a subtle type Babley Brook style waterfall coming into the pond. So I know that was a lot, but we got a lot accomplished today and I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to get a lot of work done, visible work. We're going to hopefully get that wall started and maybe finished depending on how tomorrow goes. What's up everybody, it is Jack. It's day two. We are gonna get our fabric and liner in this morning and then we are gonna start cruising. It's only unfortunately Luis, Rob, Kevin, Brian, and myself. It's a little bit of a smaller crew. We lost JD today. He's on vacation, so kudos to him. Hopefully he enjoys his time off, but the five of us are gonna hopefully crank through some and make some progress today. We gotta get our wall in and then we're gonna start setting some stone. So let's go. As you can see, we got our fabric and liner in. We even got our chips for our wall that we're gonna be putting in right now. The guys are bringing back wheelbarrows of our three quarter inch clean chips and our block wall that we're gonna be using to create this wall. Over here, I know yesterday we talked a little bit about what we did with this skimmer and pondless vault. So we have the skimmer back there. We're just about to hook that skimmer up and that's out of the way. And then here's our kind of wet well setup that we have for our jets. So we have a pondless vault sitting down there with a pondless waterfall vault extension and then two small aqua block. That's gonna allow a nice pre-filter so that nothing gets down into that pump that's going to be sitting down in here. A 3PL is going to be powering our jets inside this pond so we don't want anything getting down into that vault and clogging that pump and clogging the jets and causing problems down the road. So that's why we went with the two small aqua blocks in front of the skimmer and we set our aqua blocks four inches below the bottom of our opening so that way we can get gravel up in here and if we ever have to come back and reseal the skimmer for any reason in the future that way we have enough liner to do so and when we pull back all this liner and everything and attach the face plate to the skimmer so we actually set the top of these aqua blocks four inches from the bottom of the skimmer and that allows for three inches of gravel on top of these aqua blocks because we don't want to see any of these aqua blocks and it also allows us to have a little bit of room for flexibility to ever access the screws for the skimmer in case we have to come back and reseal the skimmer we have the flexibility to do so instead of tearing out all these aqua blocks and pretty much redoing everything if we have to ever redo the skimmer so that's the little update for you guys. We are cruising right along. I think it's a little over nine o'clock. So we've only been here for an hour and we've already got a decent start to the day. So we're going to set this skimmer up and install the face plate and everything, get all that silicone set up. So in that way we can continue to rock and roll. We don't have to worry about this. So this entire corner will be put to bed and we can rock and roll on this wall.
day two, things are moving right along. We started getting some boulders set. We've got these two big boulders that really kind of set the mood for this peninsula area. I also want to make sure we maintain the curves of our pond. You can see Kevin down here working on our retaining wall inside the pond. The hardest part about doing these is making sure that that course, by the time they continue to add brick, that the top of that brick matches up with the bottom of the existing patio. That allows us to then bring the patio right over the top of these, making it look like this wall continues all the way down to the pond, which technically it does. So using a laser transit and a level and getting all these things perfectly level is the hardest part. Once we get that first course set, then Kevin will just fly setting the rest of these. You can see Rob over here working and rocking in the bottom of the pond. So we're doing a combination of granite boulders with some moss rock. All this deep stuff down in here, we're gonna use granite. In fact, this back wall will probably do a lot of granite, leaving room for soil and plants and stuff back there. Jack thoroughly messed up by not putting enough liner yeah, back liner. there. Yeah, just, show him, just show him how much liner you could have had. He thinks that's enough, but by the time we start rocking it in, it's gonna be really tight. And you guys wanna see what could have happened? Up. Look at how much liner we had to work with. Sometimes young Pazinski over here. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. Actually, a lot of times I just say, hey, Jack, you messed up for your own job security purposes. It's really no big deal. In fact, I probably would have made the same mistake myself. I just didn't, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can see over here, like Jack showed you earlier, we've got the vault and the skimmer set in. We've got an aqua block over the top of our vault. That's just going to help that thing from getting clogged. Also help um, water move down through there. Notice the top of the aqua block is sitting about three inches lower than the bottom of this allowing us to put cobbles or gravel on top of there the other thing i really wanted to pay attention to was make sure that this vault was far enough away from the opening of the skimmer so i can still get a rock right in here to help hide that space and hide this at the same time and then on this side we've got plenty of room to work with once i get that rock set this rock set then i'm going to come over here set this one and then we can start rocking in all of this back and through here so our goal today get this done we can get that done then we can come in here and get rocked up to about here and then tomorrow, all we'll have left to do is rock this wall, dig a little bit more, set our stepping stones, and then the final day, we'll work on waterfall. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Nice.